Hi all, uh, I'm Sony Goel and uh, in this video I shall be talking about uh, CAT 2022 slot 1, my view on that, uh, the detailed uh, analysis section wise, the difficulty level. I just appeared for this examination in just half an hour before and uh, I shall be talking about uh, what was the difficulty level, uh, number of questions, what could be the expected cutoff and uh, what were the changes that uh, were there in this year's format. So starting with the number of questions, there was no change in number of questions, uh, 24 in verbal and uh, 20 questions in DILR, 24 in, uh, 22 in your uh, uh, quantitative aptitude. So total 66 questions as per the last year. But this year the number of uh, questions uh, which were TETA in uh, uh, your uh, 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 DILR, I think that was one or two more uh, as compared to the last year. but. Um, uh, talking about the verbal ability, there was one change uh, which where they have taken out the odd sentence out and uh, in place of that they have tried uh, uh, putting in this uh, uh, jumbled, uh, not exactly jumbled, fill in the blank kind of a paragraph where one paragraph is given and uh, one line is missing and you have to see where this line will fit in. right? So there were four blanks and out of four blanks only one blank has to be filled by the given option. right? So that was the only change. But if I talk about the difficulty level, yes, it was slightly higher. Uh, uh, the, all four passages require a good amount of understanding of uh, uh, what I would say non-engineer topics, <laughs> right? The topics uh, based from arts, commerce and economics background. Uh, these topics are not plain, you know, you just read it and you are able to do this. So uh, uh, what I would say, three hours is really more than enough for anyone but yes if somebody could do four nothing like it but even in fact those who are not good at RC doing two RC would be great right uh, para summary was doable uh, PJs were also doable though I have not attempted even a single PJ uh, but people said PJs were doable coming to DILR uh, number of questions 20 but it was not in the format of 6464 this was in the format of five questions into uh, uh, per set there were four sets so difficulty level wise one set I found a bit difficult I, I left that set three sets I could do it uh, fairly easily right though they consume time but yes they were comprehensible uh, set out of that one set was lengthy so uh, in DILR what I think uh, is that uh, uh, difficulty level wise uh, 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 it was moderate right neither sets were too difficult which was there last year, neither they were too easy, right? All the sets were requiring time, 10, 12 minutes, 10, 12 minutes uh, were required for each of the set and majority of deduction was there. The calculation was less, deduction was more and numeric logic was also used extensively in all the sets. And this year I expect, uh, still I expect the, the you know cutoff to go a bit higher, like verbal I expect the cutoff to come a bit lower, but in case of, um, DILR I expect it to go a bit higher. Now coming to uh, the quantitative aptitude, this was a mix of questions I would say. Uh, I could find the layered questions in each thing, right? Uh, they were not the standard questions, not many, but they were moderate questions, right? There were five, six questions which were lengthy, which required good amount of time to solve, good conceptual understanding. Uh, at the same time, there were uh, uh, very few sitters, right? There were, but not like as an hour. Like, we question. Apne ho Hardly three, four questions like that. But uh, there was a layering of those questions, and five questions I would say were lengthy and difficult too, right? So overall, uh, uh, still I would say, uh, uh, you know, were, uh, quantitative aptitude uh, difficulty level was overall was lower as compared to last year, right? Uh, because if you are very good at skipping the question <laughs> otherwise if you are stuck in the question because the question on easier topics like ratio percentages those were difficult questions right and the question on uh, geometry uh, the question on trapezium they, they, they were relatively easier questions so now coming to the cutoff part for 90 percent I you know detailed I will be able to tell uh, after seeing the other sets but according to this set broadly 90 percentile in verbal should be to 30 marks uh, di again 2021 20, right quantitative should be 19 or 20 so that should be the cutoff so the message for all the uh, people who are watching this is uh, 
cat often gives you surprises so there was a little surprise also involved in this cat uh, but this was typically cat paper where uh, doing the doable question was always the key as i always say you know cat is not about doing the difficult question it is also always about being able to select the doable question and uh, uh, try to either leave or do it in the second lot so wish you all the very best so this is my analysis and i am very hopeful to get a 100 percentile in at least one of the sections this year um, as uh, i could attempt 20 questions right in quantitative aptitude and uh, 15 right in uh, um, DILR rest uh, answer key will tell thank you very much